Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, May 20th, and here are your national days. It's Pick Strawberries Day. Now, I don't know if you've, if you've ever done this, and if you haven't, you need to. Uh, going and picking strawberries is just, it's a fabulous, fabulous thing. It's fun to do as a family especially, but it's really a, a, a tasty thing because getting those strawberries right off of the, the plants, uh, there's, it's so incredibly good. The only thing I enjoy doing more, more so than, than picking strawberries is picking blueberries. Because I blue, uh, love blueberries, and, and picking them fresh is just, it's, it's kind of one of those, you know, one for me, one for the bowl, one, two for me, one for the bowl, uh, you know, kind of a thing. And uh, they're just so incredibly good. So getting those, getting the strawberries in there, mm, yummy, yummy stuff. And on top of that, fresh picked strawberries, there's just a difference to how they taste. So uh, again, if you've never done it, you need to get out there and try it. Definitely good, good fun. Uh, it's World Bee Day, and uh, we wouldn't have the strawberries to pick if it wasn't for the bees helping to pollinate the, the plants. So definitely, uh, you know, s try to see if you can avoid uh, killing a whole bunch of the bees that you have. If you got a got an outbreak of bees around your house, you know, see what you can do to uh, help preserve some of them. Uh, and because uh, it's definitely a uh, insect that we need flying out and about. And just remember, not all bees are going to sting you. There's lots of different, uh, lots of different kinds of bees. Uh, some yes are, are definitely going to get you, but others not so much. So um, you know, don't always go crazy when you see the bees flying around you because they are rather important for us. Uh, it's clinical trials day, and talk about something that's, that is important. Uh, from a lot of these clinical trials, this is when we find uh, some of the major breakthrough uh, treatment processes for people. And uh, they wouldn't happen without having these clinical trials where you're, you're literally, you're testing out whether, whether or not something works. Some people are getting the, the actual whatever kind of treatment it is. Other people are, are not, and compare the, the results together, and that's your idea of your clinical trial. So uh, definitely important things to, to have going on. It is uh, Rescue Dog Day, and these are, these are some pretty amazing creatures going out there and uh, helping to, to save people. Uh, I, always, I do remember as a kid especially those, uh, those really big St. Bernard dogs. Uh, they always had them in cartoons. Uh, in you know throughout the like I, I, I'm assuming it's it's like the whole Switzerland idea where they're, they're up in the in the in the mountains and and the dog would go and find you but they always had like a little a little uh, bin around their um, their throats that was like a collar and they always had some some sort of a, a liquid in there that that they would serve the person they would drink it and be like oh thank you I'm, I'm saved and kind of thing and and uh, so I just remember those cartoons growing up as a kid uh, and uh, thinking rescue dogs and it's just what the first things that pops in my head when I see rescue dogs so definitely uh, amazing uh, creatures but especially the people that are training them to do what they're doing so cool cool stuff it's notebook day and uh, this, this is one of those those things you, you definitely associate more with uh, kids in school uh, I do um, we had this conversation my wife and I did um, growing up I, I just I got my my mom would go out and buy notebooks and I would have my notebook but um, my wife was like no I had to go out with my mom and I had to choose what was what my notebook looked like uh, so it's a very different concept there um, I, I, I did the wrong thing one year I saw notebooks and picked them up for my my daughter and um, I was clearly I was told that that, mm, that was not the right choice but uh, so it's just kind of a funny way about it but notebooks whether it's spiral bound or you have the ones that that uh, have the stitching in them uh, you know lots of different uses for them whether it be school or, or keeping track of you know your things you're selling or uh, just writing random things drawing whatever lots of different uses for them so notebook day uh, it's weights and measures day so this is just bringing uh, awareness to the fact that we have a you know there's multiple different weights and measure systems uh, different ways of collecting things and today's the day we're bringing that up it is be a millionaire day now I'm I, I Sure, let's all think about how we can be a millionaire. Sounds like a great idea. We can all figure out how we would spend that money uh, when we had it, if we had it. Um, go for it. So there it is, Be a Millionaire Day. It's a Global Accessibility Awareness Day. And the whole idea of this one is making sure that everybody 
uh, can get access to the different goods and services that they need. So there you go. There's your day here. Uh, it's, it is, uh, last but not least, it's quiche Lorraine day. And this is a, a, um, an egg dish because quiche is an egg dish, usually in a uh, crust. Um, and then uh, it's served either warm or cold. And the whole idea of the quiche Lorraine, the thing that makes it the Lorraine portion of it, is that you have ham or veggies in it, um, but it, having some sort of a pork product in there is super, super important. So um, that's why the, the ham comes in, but you have different, different parts of the, the, the pig that you can put in there. So some people would have bacon in there, some people will have ham. Um, so yeah, you have some options as far as what you're doing there. But then, then the other add-ons would be the different kinds of vegetables that you would add into it. All right, so those are all of our days. Let's take a look and see what our fact of the day is. The first song ever played in space on proper musical instrument was Jingle Bells, performed on a harmonica and sleigh bells uh, by the crew of Gemini 6A on December 15th, 1965. It was part of a prank played on Mission Control in which they claimed to see a UFO flying in a polar orbit. Uh, I see a command module and eight smaller modules in front, they told Houston. The pilot of the command module is wearing a red suit. So um, somebody was having a touch bit of fun uh, with, uh, with mission control at Houston, which is, which is good because um, they're doing lots of serious things up there, especially at that point. In the, uh, in the Gemini program, they're really trying to, trying to work to ramp up so they could get into the Apollo program uh, and definitely getting some, uh, some things going on. But uh, the humor of that is uh, extremely, extremely important. So uh, there you go. All right, so have yourself a great day, everybody, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a good one.